NASA's Parker Solar Probe detected a low-frequency radio signal when flying by Venus, which means that Parker skimmed through the ionosphere, a layer of Venus's upper atmosphere. Scientists and astrobiologists have always been really curious about how Earth and Venus developed into such different planets despite having so many similarities. But it's too hot to send landers and the conditions are too rough for orbiting probes. No instrument had been able to detect a signal from the planet's atmosphere in nearly three decades until July 2020 when Parker dipped 517 miles above Venus's surface to use the gravity from the planet to continue its mission to study the sun. Every 11 years, the sun's poles swap according to Science Alert. South becomes north and north becomes south. It's believed that the poles switch when the magnetic field is at its weakest, something called the solar minimum. Once the poles swap places, the magnetic field strengthens and solar activity rises to what is known as a solar maximum. The 1992 measurements were taken during a solar maximum, and the 2020 data was recorded during a solar minimum, which confirms that Venus's ionosphere changes with the solar cycles. Parker couldn't rule out why the solar cycles have such an impact on Venus's ionosphere, but researchers hope to gain a better understanding of why Venus and Earth are the way they are.